Hey, hey, this is Captain Wilhelm here at the helm again. How y'all doing? Today, we will be playing Divinity Original Sin 2 once more. I believe we are almost finished. We go to this island place, do a bunch of stuff, finish up a bunch of the characters' quests, and then I think it is the ending, which will be amazing. So, oh. I have no idea what's in store for us today, but I will be playing this for another four hours today. We're going to have two hours right now, and then a lunch break, and then another two hours after I get back. So, without further ado, let's get the show on the road. Greetings and sh salutations. Have no fear, we mean you no harm. Mm-hmm. No harm, no harm, no harm, no harm, no harm. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure about that. <clears throat> the being sniffs the air in your direction and licks his lips. He moves a couple of paces towards you. His eyes hungry and entranced. He abruptly slaps himself in the face and halts his advance. My manners. Master would not be pleased. He awaits you west of here. He will not harm you. Others may. Hmm, well, who is your master and what do you want? He doesn't respond at first. Instead, he stares, consuming you with his eyes. He bites his frayed lower lip, drawing blood. Hmm, clearly they're possessed by the void. Master is master. He wants you to go to him west of here. That's no real answer. Who is his? Who are your? Who is your master, and what does he want? He barely seems to notice your repeated question at first. His eyes are dark pools in which your reflection is drowning. You are so delicious. Please go west. My master awaits. Who or what are you? You look like an elf, but I'm pretty sure you're not. A servant. A loyal servant. He wrings his hands as he answers you. Wrings them bloody. Loyal and hungry. Go now. Save your questions from Master. Spare me your presence. Mm, who are you? He shoves his gnarled fist to his maw and bites down on his knuckles. His response reaches your ears as a muffled plea. <laughs> a loyal servant. Loyal servant, I have no more answers. Master awaits you to the west. To the west! The being lurches forward once more. Mid-stride, he catches himself and transforms the movement into a servile bow. Hmm, well, clearly he wants to eat us. Take a look at the bone piles. The abducted bride. Sweet sir. Handsome sir. Seek out our master. He wants you. Wants you. She gives you a coy little smile. Her mouth is crowded with dozens of tiny, sharp teeth. Shreds of rotten flesh are lodged between them. Hmm. Boy. The hulking brute recoils slightly from you and gestures towards deeper in the island. My master has use for you. Make haste if you please. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to get this waypoint shrine first. The statue is a striking sight, a sizzling blue totem on a blood-red iron. Even stranger, a shard of polished iron peeks from under the statue's base. There's something hidden beneath this massive sculpture. Well, we're probably going to have to get the Red Prince to do it. Even a triple-sized troll couldn't make the statue budge. Whatever the stone figure guards remains a mystery, at least for now. Hmm. Red Prince. How about you try it, buddy? The statue even even a triples. Okay, fair enough. Well, this is something we can open. Ah, freaking gross. Hmm. Hang on one second, guys. I'm just gonna check this out. It seems a little suspicious. Okay, well, I was expecting there to be <clears throat> possibly some sort of uh, treasure chest up there or something. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong dang buttons. Okay, let's 
so we have a lot of gold. I wonder if there's some place we can sell stuff at. The statue gestures towards the heavens, a striking image amidst the graves and sepulchres. Ew, reach out to bathe the blood from her feet. You are relieved of the past's nightmares and the future's burdens. All that matters is now. Okay, we're going to go to Driftwood Square really quick and look at this dude's wares to see if he has anything that is an upgrade for us. Trading. Okay, we don't have anything to sell. Not really, anyways. I mean, a couple things, I guess. Then we're going to buy, buy, buy. Alright, what do you have? Alright, let's both go. 42 to 50. 82 to 99. Not quite. See, this one would be good, but the added air and earth damage make my current one better. Hey. Level 9, level 9, level 13. Not upgrades. Uh, plus 2 finesse, necromancer summoning a rune slot. That's pretty good, but maybe for Sabeel. Level 6, level 13. I wish they would get rid of the old ones. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, it doesn't actually seem like there's too much as far as, well, that one. Ooh, 9,000 gold, but look at that. 78 more magic armor, finesse and scoundrel and power kinetic and leadership. Yes, please. Okay. All right, we'll do that. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Anything in here that's good for you? Me. You eating any of your no, fish? not really. You kidding? I don't know you are, so Intelligence. Uh, ooh, this is perfect. Hydrosophist and Aerothurge. That's exactly what she does. Mm -hmm. How can you afford this stuff? I'll go me a sweet deal. Mm, that's that's worse. Ooh. That's thievery. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're going to have to probably get that for Sabeel, and then that'll free up a belt for Losa. A lot of gold! Holy cow. Alright, Red Prince. Let's look at a weapon for you. One-handed mace. No, two-handed sword. Not so good. Not so good. So good. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, so the weapons for Red Prince don't seem to be that great. And that is a decent upgrade. 60 more physical armor. Uh, as much as I like rain and strength and warfare and earth, I'm gonna have to switch out, I think. Possibly use this one instead. Yeah, definitely use this one instead. Okay, here we go. Um, Strength, strength, strength. 12, 12. It's amazing the difference that one level makes in the armor. That's 50 more armor. Crazy. Fire resistance, strength, and flick poison on contact. Uh, I'll just keep it. No, you know what? I should buy this. Just go ahead and deck him out with the best stuff we can get. 213, 213. Mm-hmm. The shield? I don't really use shields. Geomancer, Necromancer, Water Resistance, plus 1 or 2 HP. Eh. Oh. I should definitely upgrade him. Telekinesis, Sneaking Initiative, Thievery, Bartering, Crit Chance, and Dodging. That one. Alright, 15, level 13, level 6, level 16. Not that much of an upgrade. 
got word from the factory that another 11, 16, went down. there we go. Things ain't looking Ooh. good. That is pretty yeah. good. You suppose the Rule 5. Get rid of the void work Telekinesis to three, three, plus one or two HP. We'll do that. Our prince is getting a lot of upgrades on this one and taking the majority of our gold. Good job, buddy. Good job. <clears throat> Alright, daggers. Oh, that's a spear. Okay, 59 to 62. Woo! That's a good upgrade. Yeah. That is a good upgrade. Fourteen, seven, nine. Is there a way to do this by level? No, doesn't look like it. Uh, okay. Fourteen, seven, nine, sixteen, sixteen. These are the ones I'm looking for. Fifty-four to fifty-seven. Leading. Minded. Yes. Definitely this one. So this one is better than her offhand one. Um, even taking it into account the earth damage and blinding is especially really good for uh, doing a melee attack. You eating any of your own fish? Are you kidding? I don't eat what I sell. I usually buy from Ovis over there. Um, Ovis. Immunity to burning and immunity to warm is pretty good, but this craft armor is just straight up better. Eleven, eleven, sixteen. Yep, I'm gonna have to take that. Just an overall upgrade for everybody. Hey, yes. So this is perfect. I can get this for. Sabil, and then Sabil's can go to Losa. 11, level 16, there we go. Okay, not much of an upgrade on that. Okay, that is a good upgrade. Hmm, we do have enough for it. Whew, just barely. 12, level 13. Ugh. Crater Haran. You, my sir, are getting a lot of gold. We're going to have to come back and take some of that off of you. All right, so for me, I got this. Yep. That's it. Plain and simple. Losa got this. Mm-hmm. Red Prince got a bunch of stuff. See. This needs to replace his secondary one. Yeah. Cool. Shocking touch. I mean, he's probably not going to use shocking touch very much, but maybe, maybe he will. All right, Sabil, we got that for your main hand. Yeah, this for your offhand. We're gonna take ri get rid of the rune right there, just so we don't accidentally sell it. Clip, clip, clip. This goes to Elsa. Then you clip. All right. Oh. Move all this stuff back up to me because I am the master seller. To be fair though, the Red Prince has better bartering, so maybe he should be doing it, but whatever. There we go. We have Losa with over 1200 magic armor and 300 physical armor. Myself with 730 and 830. Red Prince with 1100 physical and 800 on magic. Apparently, strength stuff gives magic armor more than int stuff gives physical armor okay cool yeah everybody has a lot of armor Buying or selling? Capital. Good luck to you. I didn't see any weapons as up well the bills I guess upgraded a little bit but beyond that oh 
not a lot of money we got back for selling all of our old stuff, but uh, you know what? It is what it is. That's all you gotta think about, mate. Alright. <clears throat> We're gonna save it. Just in case something untoward happens. And then we're going to go back to Blood Moon Island. Alright, well, he told us to go to the west, so obviously we're not going to go to the west. Uh-huh. What the heck? Oh, it's a demon. A two-handed axe. It is! <laughs> and it has a rune slot. Hmm. 91 to 106. Slightly more damage, but it only has one rune slot. I don't think it does more damage, ultimately. Letter! Oops. I'm on the wrong character. The letter pulses as if, as if possessing a harpy and glows with pale light. Children of the God King, the priests are in disarray and the tree is soon to give up its secrets. It is time to descend upon Blood Moon Island. The demons would bar the way with death fog, but I dare say the unliving among you should get, have no trouble passing, nor should those with a gift for surviving such toxins. Go! It is your desire and your duty. The missive is signed with a single letter, S. Alrighty. Okay. Mm I could go down that hatch. Or I can try and kill these bastards. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and kill them. <clears throat> oh, we need our casters to be by themselves. We need the melee guys to be moving up. Alright. Give it a shot. See how well we can do here. Ah, oh, yeah. Well, that didn't take long. Um, let's do this. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. In battle immediately. Okay, we're going to focus down. Crazy freaking, what is it? A, it's not quite a beholder, but it doesn't look good. So, uh huh. Bring on the pain. Uh, and one more shot. Dead. Perfect. Ow! Ow! This guy might suck. Ow! Holy crap. Okay. So we have these guys. Uh, that guy. Okay. Okay. We're gonna try and take out Corton the Stalker. Uh, you know what? Do this. That'd be a better idea. Boom! And he's stunned. That is fantastic. Exactly what we wanted. Alright, magic. Anybody need magic? No, everybody's doing physical damage. So. Let's give Uncanny Evasion to Miss Sabeel. She needs it. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so you have to be close range for that. Let's do... That. Uh... 
Okay, who's gonna go next? And then that dog. And then this thing goes before the red prince again. Okay. Um. Alright, you know what? Instead of that, let's give Sabeel some uh, armor. Get you some armor. Okay. Hey, Sabeel, don't. Don't. Come on. He's taunted, so that's not cool. Come on, Sabeel. Sabeel! Okay, you can be taunted, but you don't have to be an idiot. Whatever. Okay. Frickin' A. Um, we're gonna do this. It's gonna do a lot of damage. Boom! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's do this. We're gonna blind him. Hopefully. Yep. Blinded. Yeah, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> That's where I want to go. Nice that it takes zero AP to get there. Bam. What does this do? Deals damage and says decay and disease. Do it. Oh, it's so close to being dead. There it goes. All right. Come on, Red Prince, let's do this. <laughs> uh, that's it. <clears throat> Perfect. Oh, there's one more dog I didn't even notice. I forgot about. There you go. You get to be frozen. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's move up. Ah, I knew that was probably going to happen. Uh. <clears throat> Alright. Hit the dog. Yeah. Good job, guys. Ah, well, that didn't start out as well as I would have hoped, but in the end, we did it. And with not a lot of damage, either. What even are these things? Okay. Angel and Hydrosophus. Uh, no. Silver bar. Of course. Can't reach. Yeah, right. Excuse you, why can't I go down there? Well, oh, this is the second time in two days that there has been something that doesn't make any sense. How does this not too high? What are you talking about? 
Definitely not too high. There's no height there. No height there at all. To do that. No? What the hell? I don't get it. Well, I can teleport it. You know, I probably could have done that yesterday too. Uh, whatever. It's really weird. Okay. Save it because things are prone to killing us immediately. Get all the loots. All of it. Uh. Hmm. A lever. Of course we want to pull it. Why not? What did that do? Problem is, we don't know. We have no idea. Uh, I wonder if there's a spirit. No? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if I do this. Whoop. No, 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 All right, let's say you go back. You pull this lever. Uh, pull it again. Hmm. Well, this is not something we can do anything with right now, apparently. Okay. Look for spirits up here. Spirits? Hey, there's one. I knew there'd be one. The spirit of a black ring reaver looks down at his corpse in dismay. He notices you approach and challenges you in a throaty rasp. You're not one of those blood things. Who are you? We are just an adventure. What happened here? Hmm. You look the part, I suppose. We had orders to take the island at any cost. We had spells and charms that were supposed to protect us from the death fog. They didn't work. Half of us died crossing the water. Me and some others just barely made it. But then these blood beasts attacked us right away. A few made it away. I didn't. Why did you think spells and charms would protect you from the death fog in the first place? Orders. We were told they'd work. No reason to doubt that. Yeah, right. One of my comrades used source magic that saved the rest of us. The death fog already burnt my lungs. But I made it ashore. <sighs> okay, we'll take our leave. We don't need your source. Oh. I also don't like uh, doing that too much. You know how it is. Doers, huh? Oh, crap. Uh, weird. Very weird. 
All right. Uh, let us continue on our way. This place is gross. Just really, really gross. A blood cocoon, huh? Sounds like something we should. Oh, can't get to. Looks like there's a person in there. Ew, what the hell? I like how there's people living in the town. They're just like, oh, whatever. Don't even know any of this is going on. Is this something I can do other than looting them? Oop. 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 Oh, hey. Mm, nope. Weird. Okay. Do any eggs? Shoot all the eggs. Hmm. Where's this? This is back toward... Oh my. Back toward the entrance. They don't say. The Great Forge is black with a sort of ancient work. Inside is a casting for an ornate handle, flecked with glittering bits of silver. Let's load the forge. But, uh, uh, the silver? If you happen to want to go through a door with a broken lever mechanism, okay. Thanks, I guess. The Great Forge is black with a sort of. Hmm. Not sure what that goes to, but I'm sure it'll be useful. Thunder Rune. Small Thunder Rune, which we don't really use. Kilator? Nothing. stairs. Whatever words you carry with you, they are watty with futility. Ah. I know you for what you are. A mere mouthpiece of deception. It is of no use. The advocate knows the tree belongs to the ring. I don't even know who the advocate is. Oh, I can measure the vile depths of your prevarications by the very pulse of this bleeding forest. You lie. You lie. You lie. Steady as the heart. You lie. Finesse, offer him your wrist. My pulse will convince him otherwise. It is a strong pulse. The strongest I've ever known. Very well. The blood does not lie. But my warning still stands. Stand back. Not a foot on these stairs. What are you doing to the tree? Through fog we ride. Through blood we wade in search of a name. A demon plots... But with his name, we will bind him. 
This sore of bloody branches knows, but will not speak just yet. No matter. There is no remedy against patience and torture. Uh, who is this advocate person? You don't seem to like him very much. He is the serpent that speaks with a thousand tongues, except his own. He is the death of the soul, with a smile and a flourish. Heed my second warning. Shun the advocate, whose very sentence is a sentence. Your name will have your back will break. And ravage your boots until last. We will break your branches and ravage you. The hell? Oh. Well, Red Prince, why'd you do that? Oh my god, whatever. It is what it is. I kind of wanted to kill him anyways. Ooh. Okay, that's not good. Uh, Losa. Ugh. do to finish him off. Will this do it? 437 to 462. Nope. 318. Probably not. Uh, I'm not sure we can finish him off this turn. Let's still make it as good as I can. Oh, it was close though. Dang. Oh, come on. Whew, there we go. Losa, they love you. Can I say she's popular? Here we go. Stabby stab. Uh, and stabby stab. Boom. Two down. Ouch. All right, we're gonna get rid of the king, Losa. There we go. There you go, Losa. Um, we've got two other people. Oh my goodness. Look at that person's armor. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. One thing at a time. Oh, <laughs> this person's gonna hurt. Not another one. It's not fair that they get to go right after them. Yeah. Ah, oh, oh, what's up? Duck, duck and weave. <laughs> ah. Okay. Um. Do you line of sight on that guy? Oh. Jeez, I should have healed Losa first. Shoot. Okay, well. Um. Alright, I guess that's it. Losa. Heal you first. Then let's use some uh oh chain lightning. It's not gonna work. Oh no, it is. Let's watch it and see what happens. And it did a lot of damage. Oh god. Oh 
Holy crap, I almost died. Not quite behind him. However, let's do more to blow. Oh, that was pretty good. Hmm, decaying and disease. Rupture tendons instead. He's probably going to try and run. Sleep. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Woo. Then wish. Wait, no, what? How did he come back? What? That doesn't make any sense. How did that happen? Uh... I don't get it. He was sleeping. And then, what, did he take some damage or something that made him unsleep? <sighs> I don't get it. Whatever. Um. Weird. Whatever. Gotcha. Excellent. The pestilence has been cleansed. Resume Whoa. your business. Let's see, advocate. No, no, wait. Oh. You're a demon, buddy. I don't like that at all. I don't like either of you. Did I not talk to this tree? Hmm. I see you. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, there we go. Exquisite. Magnificent. A stirring display of violence. Although an equally unfortunate display of curiosity. Oh, you're not a demon. I can to heal it from the abuses it has suffered. But now, why let one person's stupidity ruin a perfectly pleasant relationship? And we had an accord after all. Ah. Uh, the, the last saved. Our <laughs> quick save. It looks like we're going to get into a fight. This is what I was talking about. Surprise fights because random didn't even know. 
The lizard leans in close. Oh. His black eyes inches from yours. In their darkness, you see an island. You see the winds that will carry you there. You see the way to the nameless isle. And so, you have what you came for. It is time for you to depart. Leave this place, Godwoken. Now. What's so special about this tree? It is something of a relic. A relic that has had its spirit defiled by the Black Ring. Now, I have work to do. This place must be cleansed. It must be healed. And you must surely know that your welcome is wearing thin. Uh, excuse me. Okay, well, I really thought we were going to get into a fight, but see, I'm mistaken. Is this a demon dog? Possessed. Start talking to some of these people. Hi. You have kept your word, and we have kept ours. But our business is concluded. Do not linger. Your kind are not welcome. Ah. Uh. As you leave, you can't help but look at his eyes, desperate and pleading. He squeezes them shut and turns away. Hmm. <laughs> there is a whole ornate chest in there. Goodness. The elf squelches her feet in the red mass beneath you, digging sharp nails deep into the ground. You're almost sure that the veins have a faster, more panicked pulse to them now. Hmm. Home sweet home. Can you feel it? The twisted pain. My thanks. With balance restored, I have the power to keep my passenger under control. I'm so confused. Apparently there was something we were supposed to do before fighting those guys. Even after all these years, he still resents my taking his body. Mortals can be such petty creatures. Uh, okay. The spirit looks around with wild panic, clawing through its spectral mass with fevered nails. Why did you come to this island? The demon feeds. The demon feeds from the ring. The demon protects. We must know what the demon protects. The demon has an advocate. The advocate kills. The demon has a secret. We must know the secret. Hmm. Good to be back. Good to be rid of that filth. Look, do not touch. See you again. Perhaps. Perhaps. Probably going to have to kill the advocate. <laughs> Probably. Um. Sell, sell, sell. Mysterious letter. The sinking of the orc fleet, the destruction of the Shadow Tower, the failed assassinations of the Godwoken, the petrification of no less than four succubi. All of these failures can be attributed to the same demon. S wants you to uncover his name and bring him to heal. I don't really think that's a bad thing. Ah, 
Gahan wanted us to kill the demonic lizard known as the Advocate. Look! Seville. All right, so these are for Losa, perhaps. Doesn't make a difference. These are for the Red Prince. Not as good. And this is for Losa again, and I'm pretty sure that it's not as good. Okay. I'm going to sell all that. Good to be back. Good to be rid of that filth. Yeah, I'm sure. Ring instruction. The letter pulses as, as if possessing a heartbeat and grows. Oh. This is actually what we saw before. Well. We're not done here. It was something else amiss. I'm sure of it. Pretty sure we're going to end up killing the advocate. But first, I'd like to explore a little bit more of this lovely, amazing area. What do we got? More demons? You guys, go ahead. Into combat. Oh my! That was unexpected. Uh, Red Prince. I know it's not your turn. Oh, they're in combat. Okay. Well, not much we can do about that. Um. Boy, this is gonna suck. Leap away. Cause this is bad news bears. Oh, he's changed. Forget it. We might end up dying on this one. Oh my god! Oh, wow. That was impressive. Oh. Holy cow. I was going to say, can you seriously get all the way over here? Guess not. Uh huh. Okay, I guess these guys aren't that strong. Great, he's decaying now. Just what I wanted. Boom! Another one down. Alright, first we're gonna use some armor so you stop the king. There we go. Now we're going to do that. Yeah. 
Oh yeah? That wasn't so bad. Ow. Ow. Yeesh. Hmm. Break through enemies. Each enemy that's hit. Okay. I don't get it. Should I target the f closer one? Did it? Oh, I hit the red prince too. Son of a fingus. Shocked. Uh. Let's get that AP going. Hit him. Now we're going to knock down arrow. What? Where? And here, let's go. Did I accidentally sell them? Oh, nope. There they are. They just went on my hotbar. Okay, that was weird. Knock them down. Yeah. That's why we do that. Okay. You have a lot of magic armor, buddy. I think we're going to have a wizard fight over here. And whittled away a little bit. <laughs> Buddy, that's not gonna do anything to me. For next time. Put him to sleep. E This guy's turn. Uh, there we go. We'll just smack him again. All right. No longer stunned. Finish him off. Yeah. They're not undead, so... I don't think there's any smoke. back around this way. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> you aren't doing anything. Okay. I'll let you go on and believe in that. good way to go. Um, I don't know. Let's go here, I guess. I just want to get an attacking on him. Into the 
Dead. All right. Well, I thought that battle wasn't going to go well, but it did. Color me surprised. What do we get? A one-headed mace. Sure. All right. Make sure we save it. Check around for some spirits. Hey, look, there's one. How did I know? How did I know? The spirit of a black ring defiler swings her ghostly blade at invisible foes. She turns and shouts to unseen comrades. Her voice is a guttural snarl, ruined by the effects of death fog. Go, find the druid. We need to find out what he knows. I'll hold these things off. That's not a guttural draw or snarl. She turns back and cleaves her sword through the air. It makes... We learned that the Black Ring forces were intent on finding a druid who could help them complete their task on the island. Well, guess what? We're gonna. She turns. She turns back. The Doom. spirit falters. Her sword mid swing. Then she is gone. Mmm, delicious. Me, I need source. I don't have to target corpses either. I guess or uh, spirits rather. Close up, you're up. Hmm. I need to remember to use this uncanny evasion. I need to learn to remember or remember to use this. Eh. Go. Then some. Oh, gotta kill these first. Here we save. Because instant death can come at any time. Backpack. Open. Nothing in it. Got a stool. Can't use, okay. Uh, hat and a what's that? A body underneath the rubble. Any spirits around here? Nope. Oh, yep. <laughs> the howling. How can you bear it? The spirit cocks his head and covers his ears, hoping to muffle screams that only he can hear. 
Uh, I'm gonna give the spirit an incredulous look. We don't hear any howling. The ancestor tree. The screams came to me on the wind. Though I am not sure the devil's breath that perturbs the air here can rightly be called wind. But they've been silenced. Mm. We're going to dig for more information. You must know something useful. Well, yes. I have kept my ears to the ground, ghostly they may be. This is an archive, a library devoted to history and scholarship. There must be a record there of the elf that spawned the corrupted tree. I can't say where its entrance lays. The whispers that speak of the archive are all but drowned by our ancestors' grief. Who or what are you exactly? A druid. A druid. <laughs> I knew it. There are too few of us. You well know our kind finds value in flesh where memory lingers. I collect memories, yes, but I'm more keen on bark and leaf. On the living breeze, not the sleeping past. <laughs> Let you live. There's an archive somewhere on the island that likely contains uh, details on how to communicate with the ancestor tree. Yes, sir. But I'd like to see... Oh, uh, Delta Cat. It is too bad we can't speak with animals anymore. Hello, kitty. <laughs> uh. Oh, this is where that jerk lets us off. So we die. Okay. Let us continue our quest for glory and riches. For glory and riches. Um. expect the stone figure was welcoming you to the island were it not engulfed in threatening blue flame it is even a triple sized troll couldn't make the statue budge hmm blazing sculpture huh? you might expect this even a hey okay. is there a lever or something uh you know what i bet this is linked to the other statue too Hang on. I see some death fog. Uh, go ahead and be super careful here. Okay, I guess we could just walk walk up. Hmm, so there's one there and one there. What's this? Oh, there's the archive. That it was hidden somewhere on this island, and well, well there it is. <laughs> okay. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Make it easy, why don't you? Oh, another statue. But this one has to do with the, the other ones. The statue looms over you. The flames enveloping it flow upwards, stoked by unseen magic, then dissipating in the thick air. Even a triple... Okay. Spirits? Hello? Well, there was certainly a battle here. Um... What else is there? That. We'll get that other one later. Okay. 
Ooh, a chest. This is why we look carefully, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. I'm going to save it just in case this possessed dog is part of the advocate, because advocate was Yeah, it probably is. Hey! Hey! How do you get to go first? That hardly seems fair. He got exploded. Hey. Quick and painless. For us. I don't think it was painless for him. But that's okay. It is what it is. Alright, and we're back. We made it full circle. So I think this ancient forge is here. Says the type is here. did. Good job. Yeah. My history lost and buried. Awesome. And another level up. Hmm. Which is pretty good. Memory is also pretty. Hmm. A point. We're going to put it in Smin, of course. Hey, so we have two more memory slots. That means we can have all of our skills. That. There. Move down the arrows again. Yeah. The, it says increase the range by three meters. I don't know how far three meters is. That's the problem. That is the question. I like how the torches are still going. Medical report. This was a most difficult case indeed. The demon who had attached itself to this particular soul fed on pain. There was no amount of suffering the individual could endure that did not cause the demon the greatest joy. In the end, it was safer and more humane to commit both the soul and the demon to the vaults. Okay. painting the code of wizardry already learned it apparently a lot of books I don't expect me to look through all of these things. archivist journal war machines companion Archivist journal, okay. The dark presence encroach encroaches. Let this journal serve then as a monument to truth, a rare treasure in a world built on lies. To whomever reads this, please know, we only intended to protect, never harm. No priest I know would see the innocent suffer. Blood Moon Island's very purpose was to keep Rivalon safe, to exercise and cleanse, to relieve demon-infested souls wherever we might find them. Not every victim is so easily purified. These are the unlucky ones, destined to writhe eternally, vessels for demons too stubborn to return to the plane they call home. Yeesh. Ilionesta was one such vessel. Deva brought the elf sorcerer here. She was limp, glass-eyed, silent. We all felt the presence when we drew near. We knew such darkness could never be cast out. 
he would be banished to the vaults along with the priest unlucky enough to shackle her. But it was never to be. Deva had uh, tired of seeing brothers and sisters sacrificed. He performed the exorcism on Elianessa himself in spite of our protests and in spite of our prayers, and so the shadow was released. Elianessa did not survive the exorcism, but I take some comfort in knowing an ancestor tree will grow where she fell. As for Deva, I do not know his fate. I rushed to the archive, knowing their presence must never be allowed to sing the hymn and enter the vaults, yet I have found but one. Where the rest may be, I can't be certain. Uh, so now I wait. The shadow will soon engulf me. Whatever Blood Moon Island might become, know what it once was. A temple of hope and healing. I pray this is how you remember us. Well then. The ancestor tree was once an elf called Elianessa, who was possessed by a demonic force. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The demon devastated the island. So many books here. Help but think there's some other hidden treasure too. Another medical report. Cool. The crafting book. Uh, alas, another lost cause. The demon has merged so completely with its host that it is hard to tell which one you're speaking to at any given time. And another. About radical measures. Incurable cases should be handled with the utmost reverence and care, and it is no small thing to commit a two uh, commit a two souls to the vaults. Yes, two, the possessed and a priest to watch after them from this life into the next. Hallowed be those who sacrifice themselves for this holy purpose. Reading the book, you read the description of attempts to exorcise a child. It seems the priests were quickly overwhelmed by the demons within, and they were never able to find an, even an echo of the child's soul. The Silent One. Ooh. What's this? I found something. Okay, this corp. Unidentified helmet on the bookshelf. The nice thing is, we're getting some uh, quest stuff for reading all these books, searching all these things. So, I think it's worth it. I have a guess that we're going to run into some of these demons down here. And open, open. That is it. That is it. Hey, it is the archivist. I had a sneaking suspicion. 
The spirit urgently passes a hand across the spines, whispering each tome's title as she comes across it. No, no, it isn't here. This is impossible. You, my brother, help me find it. There is little time. Mm. Well, we can be no help if we don't know what we're looking for. This is no time to feign ignorance, my friend. The doctor's arrogance may end us all. He has released a dark presence upon us. It must never sing the taming. The hymnals must be destroyed. And yet, I see no sign one was ever here. You must help me look. Her hands fan furiously across the tones like a pianist's upon the keys. Uh, what happens if you sing the taming? The key, of course. The melody that douses the guardian flames and reveals the vaults. I shudder to think what may happen should their captives be free. <laughs> well, of course we're going to do that. I mean, come on. I've presided over this archive for many years. The hymnals were many. How could I not notice their absence? We'd like to know more about this doctor you speak of. You must be feverish, though I wouldn't be surprised. Dr. Deva was surely ill to risk all that he's built here. Now be silent. Your questions vex me and I have no time for idle chatter. She hushes you with an index finger held to your lips and continues her search. Okay. Level up. Okay, yeah, can't do more intelligence, so let's do more memory. And then we're going to do a hydrosophist. Mm, I'll do one in memory, one in constitution. And then we're going to do two handed. The bill. We're going to do wits. And dual wielding. There's a hymnal she is talking about. Recipes. All right, cool. Take a look at the skills. The you, Sabil. Team Lance. Yes, that would be really good. Really good. Ugh. Oh, circuit is also really good. That is all chain lightning. Oh, look at that. A th over a thousand damage. Steam lance. Okay. We need steam lance to be in our support area. Right there. And we need chain lightning to be in our attacking area, which is right around. Hmm. Move that there, move that there, move that there. We have teleport, way over there. Perfect. Alright, I think that's good. Then the red prince. You can get... Enrage would be good. Provoke would also be good. Try provoke. Put that back on there. That. We need shock and touch. Your hot bar is a mess, buddy. There we go. Feel. You have all of your stuff already. Except for gag order. Hmm. Yeah, I, I guess I could have used another point in memory for Sabeel. I'm gonna have to remember that for next time. Hey. Let us be on our way. My source power draining at the merest touch. Tenebrium is truly a material of the void. Lockpick. I can feel my source power draining at the merest touch. Tenebrium is truly a material of the void. Well, everybody has the pyramid now. Hey, okay. then the usual. Whoa, Prince. 
air. The transparent artifact glimmers of its own accord, as if conducting light from another world, another plane of living. As your hand nears it, it shivers and speaks. Your head perks. You know these words. This is the language of demons. Few have heard it spoken aloud. Connected as one. The past and the present slave. Absolution and redemption await the one whose sins are many. Hmm. Examine the object closely. It's a crystal blade, seemingly separated from its hilt. It's clearly of a kind with the object you recovered from the Surrey tomb. Let's try speaking with it. The object repeats the words it previously spoke. It has nothing more to offer. Okay, let's put the artifact in our pack. The hilt of a blade, I do believe. But clearly no ordinary blade. Hmm. <laughs> the high priest hymn allows you to enter the vaults. Yeah, we know. You have it right here. Dreaming of the holy fire. Quite sure where this vault is. Forge, blazing sculptures, ancestor tree. Um, we're here actually. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is the vault that they were talking about. That'll do what I want it to. <laughs> uh, let's try this. That worked. I don't know if this is actually doing anything, but let's give it a shot. Okay. the book now? Not sure what to do here.
Maybe... Maybe it has something to do with those, uh... Statues again? They did have flames on them. We were talking about guardian statues, or guardian... Guardian flames, rather. Give it a shot. The only one that can, uh, actually, let's talk to these guys first. You are a guest no longer. You are meat, and master has had his fill. Leave. My master has lost interest in you, but I have not. Leave, my darling. The brute doesn't utter a word. Hmm. Okay. Mm, Seville? The statue is a striking sight. A sizzling blue totem on even stranger. A shard of polished looking closer. You mm -hmm. notice the statue's clerical garb. So similar to that worn by the ghostly priests bonded to the aisle. An unlikely coincidence. Sing a hymn. Nothing happens. Oh. Sing the hymnal you found described. Uh. The hymnal you found described a burning guardian such as this. Sing the melody written within. The hymn twines around the effigy like a fine thread. Guardian burning bright with sourceful flame. Abide the sacred call. Reveal the godsless hall. Winged keeper, song doth bid you break. The priest shall scry the demon's lies. The chains await their captive. From stone to dust. From stone to dust. Like a child. Holy crap, it blew up. Must be one of those vaults, he says. <laughs> We've entered a vault that lies beneath a blazing sculpture, not to see what was sealed inside. Okie dokie. Make sure. Okay, what well, about a save? Just making sure. You guys know how this goes. I've been burned way too many times by instant death. Here we get the bases. From Rackus stone Rex. To dust. From stone to dust. All right, let's do this. The lever part of the lock mechanism seems to be missing. There is no prize with which to open the door. Fix it. Guess what we have? A handle. A presence accosts you. You cannot see it, yet know it is there. It is in front of you, then behind, then finally within. You hear its whispers. The master must teach you, so that you may become a master in turn. And then it is gone. Ah. Uh. Oh, a spirit. The spirit of a priest lifts his eyes to yours. When he speaks, he rasps. As if there were dust in his voice. I watched the gate. Who goes there? Uh, he need not worry about us. I watched the gate. I watched the one who must be watched. I watched the one who should be dead but can only be chained. I watched the gate. There's anything living that cannot be killed. I've met. I've yet to meet it. You must leave. The one who must be chained will take your soul. Do not let it speak. Do not let it speak to you. We will kill the one who must be killed. I the warning? Watch the gate. I was afraid that that was a cryptic message for, like, will drain your soul. It's not worth it. Something to this, I'm not seeing. Uh. Ooh. Nifty. Uh huh.
Hmm. They repaired the broken lever by placing the silver shaft on it. What are we, what are we supposed to do? Mm. Let's see. Talk to you again. I watched the I watched the gate. Who goes there? You must leave. The one who must be chained will take your soul. I watched. Uh, let's auto save real quick and then see if the other. I watched. I watched the game. You must leave. No. Oh. You there must we go. leave. You must not speak to it. You must not speak to the one who must be chained. It will steal your soul. It will steal your very soul. Hmm. Tell him you're collecting dungeon rat droppings as part of an art project. You'll be the only one in there. You'll only be in there a minute. Uh, I don't think it'll work, but let's try it. Oh, it did. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I'll only be in there a minute. Kill it if you can, but do not let it speak. I beseech you, do not let it speak. The lock will work. The gate will open. I am the key. I am the gate. Okie dokie. Save it. Uh, not let it speak. Can I just sorcery suck your soul. Who you are. I know the weakness of your heart. Oh, she's speaking. Ah, okay. Wait, where are we going? What are you doing? A lizard on all fours lies chained in the pit. The raw power you sense within her is barely contained by the spell that binds her. Do you know who you are, God Woken? Do you know what you seek? Uh, who are you and why are you here? I am you, but greater. I am God Woken, born to be divine, all powerful. So powerful the priests imprisoned me here. They feared me, and so they should. I am fearsome, and I am generous. I will grant my powers to the God Woken who would use them for good. Deep inside you, the word power wakens your God's desire, for power is what it wants. Desire rises to surround your heart, but its avarice is tinged with suspicion. You don't say. Remark, for an all-powerful god woken, you're looking mighty powerless right now. These are chains of pure source. Not even the divine, the god's rest, his tortured soul, could break them. Set me free, and I shall give you the power that you seek. Hmm. Tell us more. Show me the goodness of your heart, god woken, and I will share my power. Take one step closer to divinity. Set me free. No. You know what? I already have all the power I need. I know you. You are better than this. Show me the goodness of your heart, God Woken, and I will share my power. Set me free. Uh, no. The lizard closes her eyes, takes a deep breath, and begins to speak inside your head. Her voice transfixes you in a warm and pleasant way. But soon the treacle in her words begins to nauseate. I know who you are. I know what you want. I know your good heart. I know you want to set me free. Uh-oh. <sighs> Constitution, intelligence, strength, or wits. <laughs> None of them are great except for wits. It's not even that good. We'd love to help, but we're all at our source keys. Oh no! Come. 
give your heart to me. No. The oh, snake God. Out towards you. They encircle you in a cold embrace. You wish to step towards her and at the same time wish to step away, but you cannot move at all. I know who you are. I know what you want. And I do not care. All your power will be mine. I will eat your heart. Oh God. The pain as the source is torn from you is both agonizing and sublime. And then it is gone. When she speaks, the honey in her voice is gone. She speaks now as a demon. Now you die. Well, if it's a fight you want, I shall teach your final lesson. A fight I can do. Holy crap. Wow. 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 Okay, we're pretty much dead. But you shocked. Put down some water there so she'll be stunned. There you go. Uh Yeesh. Found again. Oh, thank you, God. This is why Losa is my favorite. <laughs> Kill her. Oh. Oh. oh my god, that was rough. Can't believe we survived that. That initial volley was wicked. Wicked. Wicked sick. All right, guys. Come on. Come on back. Whew. Talk about ouchie. I need to be more careful in the future. Holy crap. Oh, Losa just took it. Okay, Losa. Give me my source back. I watched the gate, but the one who should be dead is dead. I'll watch the gate no more. Right. Oh, good God. Wait, I seriously. It is exactly the same as what I have. Bill, is this any good? Losa, it's good for you. Okay, you got one upgrade out of it at least. The chill of the vault seems even colder for what you have just witnessed. 
That was horrifying, but what choice did the priests have? They couldn't let that demon run free. To lock away the problem is simply to admit failure. What we see here is intellectual defeat. The child of stupidity. Forever in the dark. Forever amid the cursed. This was a place of sadism, not salvation. A dusty old chamber with a demon locked inside. There's a metaphor in here somewhere. Why these folks would volunteer for it is beyond me. Well, you know, they didn't have source like we did, so I can't say as I blame them, honestly. All right, Sabiel, you're up. The blazing blue flame seems to burn your finger the moment you touch the statue, and you yank it back in pain. Somehow, though, your skin is unblemished, yet the discomfort remains. Sing the hymn, though. The hymn twines around the effigy like a fine thread. Guardian burning bright with sourceful flame. Abide the sacred call. Reveal the godsless hall. Winged keeper, song doth bid you break. The priest shall scry the demon's lies. The chains await their captive. From stone to dust, from stone to dust. <laughs> I love how it explodes every time. The master is on the aisle with no name. We should head there post haste. How do you feel now that <laughs> Roost is dead? She smirks quite joylessly. You heard the way he spoke to me, didn't you? I don't think I'll lose any sleep over his violent demise. Roost. He was wickedness come to life. In his mind, we were nothing but things that squeal delightfully when tortured and ravished. She looks at you intently, with searching, questioning eyes. Does such a creature deserve anything less? And death. Hmm. Someone like that does deserve death. Indeed. The names on my left arm. Several I killed with pleasure. You saw what I did with Stingtail. You saw it made me feel good. You read the ecstasy in my eyes when I made Roost scream. I ask again. Does a creature like me deserve anything less than death? Mm. You're different. You kill people who harmed you, not innocents. No innocents. Not anymore. But in their name, so many guilty ones. She holds up her needle and eyes it with the same searching, questioning look she gave you. Beyond the blood hides nothing but a desire to be happy. I can only hope that is not too terrible a crime. Hmm. That's it for now. Let's go down here first. The chains bind their captive. Uh, we need another lever, really. Uh. That means we have to buy it back from that guy. Dwarf guy. Where are you? Right. Good to be back. Good to be rid of that filth. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, that silver bar. Let us sell. Holy hand grenade. Cool. Like the sound of that. Rotomiso. 
Let's see. So that was silver bar number two. The Great Forge is black. Handle. Need to uh, take a look at the belt though. It. Ah. The prince did. Hmm. Thievery, huh? Oop. Better. Yeah, this would be way better. All right. <sighs> Go back. Uh, there's this one. Need to find that last silver bar, though. Yeah, once more. One diary page. A1. Extreme precautions must be taken to ensure the safety of the vaults. The demons seem, at times, on the verge of breaking through their chains. Should such an eventuality take place, we must prevent them from escaping. The levers that could open the doors must be broken. some more. Day 25. The chains at least seem to be holding. There were some moments of concern, but the columns do their work. No soul shall escape this room. Day 14. The more time I spend here, the less sure I am of this. Where does the demon stop? Where does the victim begin? They certainly don't seem to like it when the body is threatened, though. And one last diary page. It's time. There isn't any more I can do. I can only pray that it was enough. May the gods forgive me. Spirit wrings his hands, his eyes darting around the room. They settle on you. What are you doing here? What do you want? You mustn't linger. You mustn't remain. We mean no harm. You must not mean harm to do it. Please go. How did you come to be here? His hands shake. He clears his throat. As a priest, I had a patient. A dastardly demon held him in its grasp. The demon absorbed all his pain in exchange for his soul. I was certain we'd only diminish the demon by overwhelming my patient with pain. I planned to torture the demon until it gave up its grip over the poor fellow. I began in earnest, but his cries pierced my heart. Even if the treatment could save him, I hadn't the stomach nor the soul for so I lied to the others. I told them there was no helping him. I told them to seal us down here, where he could do no harm, where I could guard his prison. Better one soul damned than two. Hmm. Maybe we can help banish the demon. As the levers fixed, you could... Perhaps you could extract him. But you'd have to be able to contain him. Defeat him once he'd been loosed. 
Who am I to say if you're prepared for that? Ask him to let, uh, we'll free you of your burdens. We'll give him rest at last to put an end to this. I suppose. I suppose the alternative is no better than trusting you. Go. Do what you can. This demon knows no distance, no remorse. Okay. Well, we're not gonna fall prey to what we did last time. We're gonna spread out. I'll go in first. Ah, ah. look at you. Handsome. Handsome. Do it go over Got there. Close Let's say go over there. The prince go over there. Still. We are ready. Ready to rock. My, how long it's been. How very, very long it's been. Would you believe Brother Calvin locked me up in here because he said I was possessed by a demon? Just because I don't feel pain. Have you ever heard anything so, so, so superstitious? Well, <laughs> considering that Brother Calvin has died and turned to bones and you're still alive standing here this whole time, I'm willing to believe it. We've seen demons in the flesh. We, we well believe it. Well, they didn't look like me, did they? Maybe I was a little... But you'd be amazed how sobering millennia of imprisonment can be. <laughs> P -p Praise the seven, right? Praise the seven, that's all over. His mouth twists in an ugly snarl as he stutters that last sentence, and a flicker of something unrecognizable yet malevolent flashes across his gaunt face. You are here to free me, right? Um... Mm -mm -mm -mm. We're here to free whichever part of him is demon-possessed. The dwarf's face becomes calm, serene even. He looks into your eyes, tranquil as a baby lamb. Well then, just destroy the pillars. Nothing to it, for one not wrapped in chain. Come on. Come on, come over here. You wouldn't leave me. Uh, let's get somebody else talking I to him. Know. You're not going to. You wouldn't leave. Ugh. I okay. know you can hear me. I guess we're going to kill him. I'm not going to let him go. There's no way in hell. Come on. Don't act like I'm not here. As you strike him, the dwarf's face changes, becomes softer somehow. He almost looks like a different person. When he speaks, his voice is quieter, more reserved. Yes. Please. Release me from him. The pain. I can take it. But he can't. The dwarf's face flickers and changes, becoming hot red and enraged. What are you doing? Stop it! Stop it now! Stop it! And destroy the pillars! And again. How long it's been. How very, very long. Would you believe, Brother uh, Calvin? Locked. Well, they, maybe I... His mouth... You are here to free me. The dwarfs... Well, then, just nothing. I'm gonna kill him. Okay. Well, not sure what there was to do about that. Whatever. Maybe I was supposed to punch him? Hmm. Not sure, honestly. 
It looked like I was doing what I was supposed to do. The demon has been defeated at last, but the fellow he possessed had to be sacrificed too. Could be helped. Liberty or death. He has both now, and he's better off for it. Death is preferable to servitude. He's a lucky man. He may have been possessed, but he was a person. Innocent as you or I. This isn't right. Well, uh, what should I have done? I, I do hope you will do what I could not. I hope you will free that his hand as a priest. I planned, so I lied. It's better one soul damned. I, I do hope you will wait, wait, care for him, if you can. He's dead, buddy. That's weird. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to go and get some lunch now. It'll be about an hour, and then I will be back here to continue the story of Divinity Original Sin 2. We'll get underneath that third and last sculpture and figure out what to do with that demon. And then probably attack the advocate. Yep. So stay tuned and I will see you in an hour.